Welcome to the Shika Serbu Motor Channel. This channel provides easy to understand explanations of car mechanisms. A hot V turbo engine is a type of engine where the turbocharger is placed between the banks of a V engine. They are used in V engines from Ferrari, Cadillac, and German cars. Traditionally, turbochargers on V engines were mounted on the outer sides of each bank. To primarily solve two issues, certain V8 and V6 engines have had turbochargers placed between the banks since the 2008 BMW X6. This type of engines are called a hot V turbo engine because it places the high temperature turbochargers between the V banks. The first issue is the length of the exhaust manifold. To make the turbocharger work efficiently, it is necessary to flow high temperature, high pressure exhaust gases into the turbocharger. To flow the exhaust gases into the turbocharger before their temperature drops, a short exhaust manifold is necessary. It is believed that Ferrari chose the hot V turbo for the 296 GTB for this reason. The engine of the 296 GTB has a 120 degrees V bank angle, giving it a wide and vertically compact shape. Therefore, placing the turbochargers on the outside of the banks would require raising the engine's mounting position, which would negatively impact the vehicle's dynamic performance. By positioning the turbocharger away from the cylinder, the engine mounting position can be lowered. However, the temperature of the exhaust gases entering the turbocharger decreases, resulting in reduced efficiency. Thanks to the wide V-bank angle, this engine has enough space to position the turbochargers on the upper side of the engine. There is no longer any reason not to adopt the hot V-turbo. In a V8 engine, the issue of exhaust gas temperature is not very significant. The V8 engines used by BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Porsche, and Cadillac all have a V-bank angle of 90 degrees, providing enough space to position the turbochargers on the outside of the banks. This image shows the Mercedes-Benz M157 engine, which was used in the 2010s and featured a traditional turbocharger placement. We can see that the turbocharger is positioned directly after the cylinder. Therefore, there is another reason for V8 engines to adopt the hot V-turbo. That is the second issue. Uneven firing intervals. There are two types of 90 degrees V8 engines, based on the crankshaft design. Flat plane, and cross plane. First, we will listen to the ignition interval of the flat plane type engine, used in sports cars like those from Ferrari. We can hear that the eight spark plugs are firing at regular intervals. Next, we will listen to the ignition intervals of crossplane type engines, used in sedans and SUVs. Throughout the engine, the eight spark plugs fire at regular intervals. However, at each bank, the four spark plugs fire at uneven intervals. To make it clearer, replace the ignition sounds of the right bank with a guitar and the ignition sounds of the left bank with a piano and listen to it again. We can see that each bank has uneven firing intervals. This uneven firing interval creates the deep and rumbling exhaust sound that American muscle cars are famous for. For those interested in cylinder layout and exhaust sound, please watch the video, Cylinder Layout and Exhaust Sound, One Cylinder to V8. There's a link in the description. Let's take a look at the exhaust gas flow. If a turbocharger is installed for each bank, the exhaust gases will flow into the turbocharger at uneven intervals, disrupting the smooth rotation of the turbine wheel. To prevent this, 
The exhaust manifolds are connected across the banks, so that the exhaust gases flow into the turbo in the order of ignition. This type of manifold is referred to as a cross-engine exhaust manifold. The exhaust gases flow into the turbocharger at regular intervals. This is why V8 engines adopt the hot V turbo. However, the standard model of the BMW X5 equipped with the N63 engine uses a traditional setup with a turbocharger installed for each cylinder bank, while the M model equipped with the S63 engine adopts a cross-engine exhaust manifold. Even though they have to manufacture different exhaust manifold components, there's no doubt that the cross-engine exhaust manifold offers better performance. Hmm, reality is so complicated. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. We'll see you in the next video.